Hey guys, I'm Jen Wiederstrom bringing to you some of my favorite movement pairs that has a part A and a part B section. Part A is all about pre-exhausting your muscle groups, which basically means tiring them out, isolating the exact muscle fibers that I want you to work in part B. So in A, there's an isometric hold, whereas in part B, we're gonna action those muscles. I'm gonna crank them, which creates shape and definition. So we're on our way to our best bodies right here. This movement pair is a held plank position, supersetted with a full push-up. Here we go. The plank position is a standard plank, but with my little twist on it. Your palms are side by side, fingers spread, heels reaching away from the top of your head, and wrap, wrap those armpits through and forward so that crease in your elbow is going away from your body, and you're gonna squeeze and hold. Don't dump, don't sink, stay nice, tight, long, and connected. Now, ultimately, the end goal is this, all the way down, all the way up, but as you're getting stronger here, go ahead and lower and peel your body up as you start. Doing that will allow you to get better at the full push-up. And eventually, you'll be here. This movement pair is a chair pose in a health position matched with a squat jump. Now, I'm gonna show you the chair pose, but keep in mind that if this is a little challenging because of mobility or you're just not quite comfortable yet, feel free to do a wall sit. What you're going to do is bring your feet in just inside your hips, dropping your hips back and your arms reaching forward. Now, optimally, you can see that my arms are above my head like this. If your mobility is here for a little bit, that's okay. The whole point of this is really activating your lower legs and your glutes. You're gonna breathe in, exhaling, bringing your belly button in and squeezing those legs, and then immediately go into your squat jump. So notice how my feet just got wider and I'm using the momentum from the ground force up through my hips, driving to the ceiling. After just a few, you'll feel the burn. This movement pair is probably one of my favorites. It's a lunge hold right into a reverse lunge into a runner's hop. Let's get to it. You're going to stand with your feet side by side and underneath your hips, and then bring back one leg into a hold. What I'm looking for is your knee not to be touching the ground and not to be straight, but bent and hovering about three inches above the ground. I want your shoulders just slightly pitched forward to keep the work in that front leg. And after the hold, we're gonna go right into a runner's lunge. So I'm gonna drive my back leg up and through and leave the earth for just a moment. Just a little hop. You don't need to go to the moon, but I do need you to leave the ground in this plyometric movement. This movement pair is a boat hold and bicycles. Let's go. So in the boat hold, you want your feet about three feet in front of you and that, that feeling of teetering right on your tailbone and almost like that part of your booty, okay? That's when you know you're in the right spot. Gently lift one leg, then the other, and then extending both hands. What we're looking at is a nice balanced hold. The only reason I'm staying up here is because my core is pulling in and tight. My shoulders are not in my ears, they're down, they're connected, and I'm reaching nice and tall with my neck and my torso. From here, we we'll go directly into bicycles. So I extend the one leg opposite in turn. So my one heel is on the opposite direction of my elbow. You wanna reach as far apart as you possibly can. A lot of time I see bicycles and I see this. I don't know what this is. <laughs> this is a bicycle, fully extend, rotating from side to side, so your entire rib cage pressing into the ground until the time is up. This pairing is a knee to elbow hold with mountain climbers. Two exercises that I know you've done before. We're gonna mash them together, here we go. On the hold, you're gonna place your hands side by side, heels away from the top of your head and that perfect plank. Then, gently reach your shoulders forward about an inch or two and drive up one of your legs to a nice compressed hold pulling your belly button back and having almost a rounding in your back. You're gonna hold for four to six seconds and then release and repeat on the other side. Holding, driving, squeezing the knee up and release, alternate, release. This is the movement for the knee hold. And then from here, we go right into mountain climbers. Now ideally, I have your feet up here and they're switching in the air. Driving one leg alongside the next Equal landings, equal takeoffs. If that's a little too dynamic, you can always drive dynamically and athletically 
one leg at a time. For more great fitness tips, check out health.com.